discharging a firearm into an occupied dwelling. A first for our state, new technology now being used to treat spinal disorders in operating rooms right here in Wilmington. It's giving pain relief to patients who have struggled for years. Carolina in the Morning's Caitlin Stansel live from New Hanover Regional Medical Center this morning, the home of this piece of equipment, the only one like it in the state. Good morning, Caitlin. Good morning, Bob. That's right. This is the first time it's being used in North Carolina right here at New Hanover Regional Medical Center. And this technology, Mazor Robotics, just this little piece of equipment right here, about the size of a Red Bull can. That's all these doctors need to use to help patients with spinal disorders, having back pain, help them find relief. I have Dr. Todd Rose here with me to talk about a little bit about, you know, why is it so important that it's not this robot that's in total control. You still have a lot of control when you're in here in the operating room. Correct. This is an exciting tool to use because it can help you uh, plan the surgery preoperatively about exactly where you're going to place the screws on a, C a CT scan preoperatively. And then it can help you to place a guide wire. And then you'll put the uh, guide wire uh, down the pedicle, which is the placement for the screws, and uh, allows for much more accurate. Why is it so important that here at New Hanover Regional and in the Wilmington area, that this kind of technology is available for you to use? Uh, well, it's important because we can use it in uh, either open or minimally invasive surgeries to, again, provide more accurate placement of the hardware, uh, overall a safer surgery, and uh, can address more difficult cases where the deformity before may make it more difficult for us to get the screws in exactly the right place. The uh, preoperative CT scan combined with the intraoperative registering of the uh, patient to the machine helps with the placement. What has the response been from your patient so far? Oh, very good. Very good. They're excited about it. And can you kind of talk a little bit about the recovery time? Uh, well, recovery time depends a lot on the size of the incision. And this uh, robot does enable us to plan for smaller incision type surgeries. Uh, so uh, doing minimally invasive surgery, which can be done either with or without the robot, uh, is a little bit more helpful with the robot. And this technology only being used the closest states in South Carolina and Virginia, uh, less than 70 being used worldwide. So it is a really awesome opportunity that you have this here at New Hanover Regional Medical Center. It is. We're very excited about it. Yeah. What's probably the most exciting part of using this? Uh, well, it, uh, the preoperative planning helps a lot uh, in terms of severe deformities uh, where there's rotation. Uh, that can be very difficult using just plain fluoroscopy. The other exciting part is that we can use less fluoroscopy, so there's less uh, radiation exposure both to the patient as well as to the staff in the room uh, during the case. Now, we have all these details on our website, foxwilmington.com. You can go there for all of this information, but for now, I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Caitlin, thank you. Residents in Wrightsville Beach have had the chance to hear from their chief of police. Chief Daniel House uh, addressed issues his department is working on, the problems they have solved, and what lies ahead. Many people during Thursday night's meetings spoke about the beach bars, complaining about the noise going late into the night, the crowds filtering out into the streets, public urination, even people walking on cars. The chief says it's good for him to hear from the people he serves and that they will continue to hold events like this in the future. The Wilmington Hammerheads announcing they've... Uh...